Welcome back to the e-commerce shipping podcast. I'm your host, Jason Archambault, and I am here with just a quick reminder. Today is December the 14th. Uh, several days to a week ago, I guess, we were um, uh, looking over one of our small parcel carriers invoices uh, for the week of uh, November the 28th. And uh, we found that the numbers weren't uh, matching up. Um, it appeared maybe um, we had been misbilled uh, across the entire invoice, not just on one package. Uh, but it but it looks like um, we were misbilled. Maybe some of our discounts left off. We brought it to our uh, rep's attention. Um, they acknowledged an issue and are correcting it. Um, it sounds like maybe it was just more than us that was affected. So this is, again, just a reminder. I've I've um, talked about it on this sh- uh, podcast several times before, but you should always be checking your uh, shipping carrier's invoices, making sure you're being billed properly. Just because you're shown one price at um, when you print your label um, doesn't mean that's what's going to be invoiced. Um, there could be an accessorial fee, you know, a, a residential fee you didn't know about, or or this or that that you can adjust for future shipments but also billing errors i mean fortune 500 companies make errors too so um anyway you just have to 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 keep an eye out uh just like you would um uh look over one of your suppliers invoices you know make sure they're not overcharging you etc um don't forget to check your shipping carriers um invoices so anyway just a quick reminder um again we saw an issue on our uh november 28th invoice um haven't seen anything since i don't believe but um if you've paid it or haven't paid it go back and look at it you can get a credit if you've already paid for it Uh, you just have to bring it to your carrier's attention so anyway that's what i've got for now we'll talk to you soon